So I'm back and uh, continuing on our path of looking back at uh, some fans project figures. Um, so now we're going to look at Slag. Um, so here is his derpy weapon thing. Um, <laughs> if you're into this, great. I'm not. I'm so not into these things, <laughs> as you guys can tell. Uh, one of those reasons why it's like I would not hesitate if this version of the fi figure came with the Diet Clone drivers, I would have bought that in a heartbeat. Um, but I really think they should have put this engineering and such into the figure to make them better. Uh, not saying that this one in particular is bad or by any means. I'm just saying that some of these guys could have used a little bit better engineering. You know. Uh, and this is just a waste of plastic for me. My opinion, my own, my own opinion. But so yeah, uh, here he is in his uh, Dino mode. So he's got uh, that nice, awesome chrome um, right here. I, I I keep gushing over their chrome, but honestly, it's almost like a metal. They 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 chrome it so well, it it feels almost like it's metal. Um, it's really nice. Uh, he's got. Um, Two guns. Uh, they got the ports here, uh, so you can plug them in. Let's see, we could go here. I'm sure we could get it into there if we. Yep. So you can plug it into there. Um, the back hips, and then the tail. Uh, same on the other side, and he's got the sword here as well. Uh, so you got options on arm him up if you want to. And then this guy's got the port too, so you can plug him in here if you want. So yeah, um, yeah. Let's uh, go over posability. Uh, he's got uh, ball joint, ball joint, and uh, ball joint. So all the way around, uh, good posability. It's really stiff, so you know, be mindful of that. Ooh, I got a little paint chip there. That sucks. Uh, head is got, I think there's a hinge in there, so you get the little left and right, and then it goes to a ball joint. Uh, mouth does open and close, um, and he's got the little flamethrower type thing in there. Shoulders, uh, swivels, uh, gets a little caught up on the chrome bit there. Uh, swivel here, hint, double hinge there. Uh, back is on a ball joint. Hinge here, hinge here, and then it's got a ball joint for the toes. So, so yeah, so he's got that ability where you can make a wide stance with his legs. I don't know why you would, to be completely honest. I don't know why uh, you, anybody would really need that. And just because I had him, here's a size comparison with the uh, Power of the Primes. So, if anybody's thinking the power of the primes, dinos are are going to be uh, comparable to the fans project ones. There you go. There's the size comparison. This is a deluxe figure. This might be the smallest deluxe figure I can remember in recent history. This thing feels tiny. But enough about him. Let's talk about him. Uh, so nothing else really to go into here. So let's go ahead and transform him. Um, we want to pull these legs out like this, and then this section will untab from here and here, and pull this whole assembly here out, and these panels here will that and like that and then we can extend the legs like that he's kind of a he's kind of a mess really uh, transformation wise uh, but it, it all comes together in the end so flip these panels here up then we want to you take this whole leg assembly and this will rotate in
place like that. Rotate the toe around. This will come up. This comes back like that. And then this can come down here like this. And then we want to do the same thing on the other side. So this rotates in. It's just it's hard to do that one in, uh, on camera. All right, Move that forward, down, just like that. All right, arms will rotate down, and then what we want to do here is we pull this section here up, up. Take these wing sections here, and they can come back. that and they just kind of get out of the way for the moment here and we want to pull the torso section out like this and then this will come up there's a slot here slot there tab here tab here just slide that up and in just like that rotate this section here all the way up and all the way up this mouth will open all the way and then it hinges down. Like that. And you can flip. This thing's super loose and I hate it. But you can flip that into the back. That doesn't look right. tail section here. This will rotate up and you can tab the tail into these two wing sections here. Just like that. And then for the arms you want to untab this section here, flip the paw all the way down. This comes back up, rotate, and then same thing over here. So up, down, in, rotate and there you go there he is in his robot mode this is what I, I, I think aesthetically I, I like the least um, functionality he's he's still he's one of the better ones but I don't I'm not a huge fan of the way he looks um, yeah that's just that's just me so head is on a ball joint uh, so he's left and right a little up a little down um, just try to keep that. Oh, come on. What the hell? Like, it wants to lock in, like, here. But that gives it a super long neck. And I don't like that at all. Um, oh, maybe the neck is twisted. There's not a lot of clearance in this thing. There we go. That's better. All right. Uh, so, shoulder. See that, and this doesn't lock in, and I don't like that either. Uh, so the shoulder swivels here due to transformation, but then it swivels up here uh, on a ball joint, and it does have hinge out, bicep swivel, uh, bends at the elbow, uh, double bend, uh, wrist swivel, fingers open and close. I don't know if I went over posability on swoop, did I? Anyway, oh well. Uh, there's a waist swivel, but you gotta undo the tail to do it. Uh, he does have a substantial backpack here. Hips uh, swivel up and down, in and out. They are on ratchets. And there's a hinge in there as well. Thigh swivel, 
bends at the knee. I think, yeah, there's a double bend. Yeah, so you can get a good, decent bend on there. Uh, foot tilts and rocker. Uh, all this stuff tries to come undone now. All right. Weapons. Let's see here. Held his gun uh, pretty well. That's a little loose, but uh, let's see. Almost close enough. I, I, I gotta knock him for that. Uh, sword. Uh, you can plug in the sword again, forearm, <laughs> and the hilt of a sword. They just really did not think those swords out at all. Um, I think that's the whole set. And then you can have him hold the big axe thing if you want. And I, I, I'm just not down with that. So, yeah. Uh, and then for this guy, you just untap these sections like that. And then we want to untap the legs, rotate them down, flip down the feet. have the arms he actually transforms exactly the same way as the one that comes with sledges um, and then flip this back like that and there you go uh, he has a swivel at the neck ball joint shoulder with a hinge on the shoulder so a good good range of motion there double bend elbow nothing at the waist hips ball joints knees are on ball joints and the foot does tilt a little bit these can plug into the arms. I do not recommend it. Um, you can see this one almost broke on me. Um, just getting it out of his hands. Uh, so I don't know what to do about that. And I know I am. I would be... I, I think I broke the first one. I do. Uh, and I know, I think... I can't remember if it was Piog or... Or skull face, but one of them broke, or maybe both of them broke the the axes on on screen. So, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, this is one of those reasons why I'm not a fan of these things. So, so yeah, all in all, uh, this guy. I mean, he's good. Um, you know, he's gonna go good with the set, I think. Uh, but uh, ultimately, I think you know a lot of people like him the most. And I have to say, I like him the least. Um, I'm going to give him a... I'll, I'll tie him up with Sludge and give him a 6 out of 10. I, I'm not the biggest fan of him myself. Um, just real quick, because I got him here. We'll do the Power of the Primes guy. Flip him around real quick, because he's a simple transformation for the most part. We'll do it. We'll do a full review on this guy some point in the near future I just have other things I want to look at first um, put that down out of the way and that comes down Drop the figure it's always super helpful when trying to rush something right. just drop them and here he is with the Power of the Primes one. So, so, yeah, again, if you're looking at these Power of the Prime Dinobots as your Chug Dinobots. <sighs> I'm sorry. This isn't going to work for you. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, uh, we'll look at Grimlock next. <laughs>